$365 million, that's how much money Toledo's mayor wants to spend in his proposed budget for next year. Silver Barker joins us now to break down the expenses. Silver, you spoke with the mayor today. Yes, that's right, Kaylee. Mayor Wade Katsakavich says they've been planning next year's financial plan since May. He says by the end of 2025, this budget will leave them with $60 million in reserves, an amount he says they haven't accomplished in a while. As the new year approaches, there are a few things the city of Toledo wants to improve upon in 2025. And that includes a stronger presence of first responders. I think the big takeaway is that uh, this is a budget that invests in our police and our fire. A new police class with 30 officers and a fire class with 20 firefighters. Mayor Wade Kapsikavich says the budget also addresses $21 million spent on vehicles and equipment. Plus, there's millions of dollars in this budget for the tools and technology and equipment that our police and firefighters need. So whether it's new squad cars, new equipment uh, uh, for our uh, public safety forces. Public safety accounts for 64% of the budget, costing more than $230 million. The mayor says the proposed budget would increase police and fire salaries by 4%. The $150 million we've brought in uh, on a per capita basis puts us better than any other city in Ohio with the exception of Cleveland. With more than $150 million in grants awarded, the city also plans to complete major projects within the first few months. Some of the bigger projects that were made possible by the American Rescue Plan. So whether it's the completion of the brand new YMCA over in the Warren Sherman neighborhood, which should be done in February or March, whether it's the new splash pad and the overall uh, facelift that we're making uh, to Savage Park. Of the budget includes a quarter of a million dollars to continue past programs, such as the summer youth program, keeping kids busy in the summer. I think it's one of the reasons that we've seen um, our crime statistics improve so much over the last couple of years is the fact that kids have had positive things to do during the summer. With the elimination of 55 vacant positions, the mayor says they were able to save $60 million left over for their rainy day fund. He also says due to an increase in the city's bond rating, taxpayers will be paying less money when it comes to big projects. Now the mayor says this budget also takes into account the recent Jeep layoffs. The budget must be passed by March 31st. The city is planning to have public hearings in regards to the budget over the next few weeks. Reporting in the studio, Silver Barker, WTOL 11.